Today we have, uh, we have a patient with a left main disease uh, with uh, involvement of uh, proximal parts LAD and uh, circumflex uh, arteries. Uh, he's suffering from, from ischemia. Uh, we know that he was uh, examined with non-invasive um, uh, tests. Uh, we know that there was, the results were positive, so therefore he was sent for uh, coronary angiography. In coronary angiography, we found intermediate uh, s stenosis, especially for uh, LAD proximal and uh, and more, more even more for um, circumflex proximal parts. And so our plan is just to assess functionally using FFR and IFR uh, the significance of these of these lesions. Uh, in a case of uh, significance. Uh, we will go for percutaneous uh, treatment. This is the result of uh, heart team debate. So it was told with the positive results we are allowed to perform uh, percutaneous treatment. And of course, we will base all of the decisions on IVOS. Uh, do you agree with me? Yeah. Okay, so Completely. we confirmed significance both for LAD and circumflex artery with FFR, so we are allowed to Treat the, uh, the, treat the patients. Uh, now um, we can go for, let's say, a regular basis uh, approach. Two wires, one for LED, second for uh, circumflex artery. And I was uh, assessment, two pullbacks from LED and circumflex just to, 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 to um, choose the most effective uh, and uh, adopting the anatomy uh, technique. Personally, I truly believe that uh, provisional artery stenting with a stent from uh, left main towards uh, circumflex artery because it's much more uh, diseased from a uh, from, uh, uh, geographic point, point of view with a relatively not very involved orifice of, of, of LAD. Look, uh are you recording that? Record it, please. Okay. Now, oh, okay. now we found yeah. it. Yeah, it's yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You catch it. Yeah. The once more, once more. The confirmation that we yeah, have. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very yeah. tight stenosis, so it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. Show us the last, uh, <coughs> the last view. The last pullback of IVOS, especially in the first uh, ten, 10 frames, where it was catched. Uh, come on, come on, come on. Oh, and here. Here, uh, this, is, this is the point. This is the point. This is uh, less than three square millimeters for sure. This is just on the level of, of, of Beginning of just bef be before, yeah, yeah, before the uh, uh, carina. So we see the carina and, and uh, LD coming. No, please calculate the, the lumen. Mm. It's a little bit more from 11 to 12, but uh, it is below three years. Uh, yeah. Okay. Thanks can can you calculate the, 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 the vessel size? Yeah. Yeah. Too much. Something like that. Okay, done. So this is almost four zero uh, vessel. So let's uh, calculate uh, using the previous uh, the previous um, uh, pullback the distal reference. For second flex artery, distal reference. Yeah, okay. Let it run, let it run. Stop it here. Calculate. So this is diseased artery for sure. Uh, Bioslim C, for four five by uh, 375 
I would take 24. 24, I agree. Because uh, we will cover um, uh, better the, 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 uh, the left main. Additional point for this, uh, for this dedicated stand is just to have an uh, optimal uh, image, optimal projection with a very good Carina visualization. No, so now we, we, we achieve uh, this kind of... Uh so we have this projection, we can, we can uh, after the predilatation, uh, we should have a stabilized uh, position of the of the of the of, of, of the stand and then uh, i would like to remind you that uh, we need to position the mid marker of the delivery balloon just uh, on the tip on the top of the uh, uh, carina so it means it's here yeah <laughs> so we are very close to good position yeah okay, okay. let's make just Almost, almost. I think that uh, we have we have to push it. Uh, let's say a half of millimeter. <laughs> <laughs> I agree with you. A half of millimeter. How is it? It's something like this. Okay. So uh, we can we can we can we can try uh, right now uh, a spider view. Oh, spider is. Yeah, uh, yeah, no, no, but believe me. It yeah. will help as well, okay. because we will assess also the uh, 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 left main orifice, how we covered that. Okay. I would say this is good. I would, I would implant it here. Now we see the, 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 the second lesion just uh, after the, after the stand, but uh, okay. So the nominal pressure is 10. So we see this calcium right now. I go to 12. That was the problem. Now the calcium was shifted, was uh, shifted down, but uh, truly believe that distal, the distal optimization technique will be necessary. Slowly, slowly, but progressive. Okay, this, that was a really big balloon. Okay, give me. So we have very good uh, 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 inflow for, uh, for, um, also for the uh, LED. LED. We see the coverage of, of left main uh, as well. Okay. Another view and we see. So a small pinching for, for LED. It's el el elliptic. We need to work on, on, on the orifice. There is no distal dissection. Okay. Yeah. Could okay. you record it? Go. This is the lesion that we saw after. Yeah, but with good lumen. Now is beautiful, a post stand. Ideally, I would say this part is, uh, to, let's say, has to be uh, improved. I but don't in think but so. in terms of but in terms of pot. so in terms of pot we are done. Yeah. So what we need is just dot. Dot with the transition zone. Exactly. Uh, so, uh, so. We need for, we need for all. Uh, or three 
375. 375 is, uh, uh, I, 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 would, I would suggest to take 375 and C12 for a lady that was uh, above 3.5. But you know, this redilatation towards, uh, but the lumen was, uh, was uh, uh, let's say, up to 2.5 in diameter. So uh, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's use 2.5 uh, to open the, the, the LED, okay? Yeah. 12, 2.5, and C. So yeah. let's try to perform IVUS once more from a uh, second flex artery and then from LAD. Because from a geographic point of view, we are already done. But we have to be uh, optimal. Then we can, with these uh, passes, we can calculate uh, digits for Kang uh, formula, five, six, seven, eight. Yep. Okay. Go. Okay. Okay. A small stand was there. Yeah, 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 but now. Okay. I see. Very healthy. No dissection so yeah, far. Yeah, 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 great. Okay, we are still in, in LED. Yeah. We are approaching right now left main. Okay. So, and geographically, it looks beautiful. This is for sure. I have no doubts. And then we see elastic recoil just on the level, you see? Yeah, and, but uh, there is no dissection, it's stable. This is the truth, but this is an uh, elastic recoil. And uh, I'm not sure for 100%. So let's, let's, let's use a bigger, bal bigger balloon. Let's use a bigger balloon. So, uh, 2.75? 2.75. Or semi-compliant 2.5? No, no, 2.75. Then we'll, we'll decide. If we have no dissection, we will leave it. If we have dissection, we'll use a second stand, okay? Okay. And uh, also with these IVUs, we'll show whether we have kind of distortion or not. Do we need or not a uh, uh, report? came very easily. It's enough, it's yeah. enough, it's enough. Okay, are you ready for okay. recordings? Go. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Ah, there is a, a increase in lumen for sure. I see it. Yeah, now this is situation situation is, is much better. Okay, okay. Now I will I will go to calculate the as yeah. and, and see, we really don't need also pot. Yeah, we have oval yeah. shape only yeah. in the... So congratulations, I will go okay. to, 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 let's say, to, to measure everything and I will go at the end, I will tell uh, uh, at the end what about the digits in terms of Kang's, Kang uh, formula. Okay, so we are finishing our job. <laughs>